I'm Dylan. I'm Ariella. And we're the arts and entertainment editors at the McGill Tribune. Today we're talking Oscars. That means we're talking flicks. We're talking films. We're talking movies. With Oscars mere days away, everyone's asking the big top dollar questions. Will Phantom Thread win an Oscar? Will Call Me By Your Name take home the Oscars second consecutive queer prize in the best picture category? Will Sam Rockwell win an award despite playing a racist character? I don't know. And I don't know either, and we're not going to find out today, because instead we're going to talk about sound, sound editing. editing. I don't know about you, Ariella, but personally, I think sound editing is dumb and bad, and also I do not care about it. I agree. I think it is a waste of an award and a waste of everyone's time. So without further ado, we're here to prove to you how dumb, bad, and also easy sound editing is. So a sound editor is basically just an actor that's too much of an uggo to be in front of the camera, so he does the exact same things that an actor does behind the camera. What's the word you Uggo. I don't think it's the people who are doing the noises who are the sound editors. I think it's the guy who doesn't oh. post and like, oh, there was a big scandal last year because, um, what was it? Uh, the annoying one. You cried in it? I didn't like it at all. La La Land. La La Land. <laughs> we haven't, have we yeah. talked about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, La La okay, okay. But La La Land, they, it won a sound mixing or sound editing award, and then afterwards people were like, oh, but you couldn't hear any of the words over the dumb music. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely, I couldn't make out much of what was happening in La La Land because I was crying too much. La La Land did you start to cry? Like, literally, name a point. Like, any of the songs are <laughs> extremely emotional. Like the, the final one where she, where it's like 10 years later and Emma Stone's got her so name and she goes into the bar. That you was. Cried in that? Yeah, definitely. I, <laughs> I feel like a sound editor's job is kind of similar to like a kid that was brought for like take your kid to work day and just gets to like stomp around <laughs> playing behind camera. See, there they don't need real crabs. The real crabs. A talented sound editor would find like a creative solution. This feels like that's sound crabs. editing propaganda. Also, <laughs> sound editing. Peta would not somewhat... support this sound editing. Yeah, thing. yeah, absolutely. It, were those live crabs that they were just like grinding I think against so. each other? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't imagine that that is necessary. <laughs> is that the whole thing? That was beautiful. <laughs> it was really nice. <laughs> Foley's just like, I I totally understand it now. It's very well communicated. Um, oh, this is an actor. These are oh, sorry. These there. are I actors mean, pretending to be sound editors. They were way too good looking to be sound editors. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a strong profile. John Balls. <laughs> uh, John Taylor. <laughs> so now we're going to be editing what is probably one of my favorite scenes in what is definitely my favorite movie of all time, which is The Parent Trap. The Parent Trap, um, starring Lindsay Lohan, generally regarded as a watershed moment in the preeminent preteen film movement of the 1990s? I would say preteen is reductive and that it is a movie for people of all ages. So basically The Parent Trap um, takes place at a summer camp where Lindsay Lohan and her twin sister find out that they are each other's dads. As if summer camp wasn't hard enough. Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> you like some slapping sounds in there? Yeah. Okay, wait. Pause. It's gonna take a really long time. Uh, walrus roar. How does walrus roar, <laughs> roar make it in, but slaps doesn't? Why? Why is the sound editing industry so obsessed <laughs> with animal abuse? Dylan Wait, is a high huge. five. What? Yeah, kind of, was that? Bit, the, were you going for high five? Or no, I was, I? I was trying to get get the sound right. Can we record sounds on here? No, I was just trying to compare our sound, like what the high five sounds like. Compared <laughs> but I think to what you're boxes. insinuating, which is what we got from the previous video, which is that true sound editors do it themselves. Yeah, make yeah. Their own sounds. This is true. Um. <laughs> high five. <laughs> uh. Okay. How is there no search function? This is ridiculous. There is a search function. But slap. Try high five. Slap might be too violent. Is high five H I G H or? Yeah. The high five was H I. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what high five sound like. Can we just... That's close. That sounds like the beginning of Mr. Blue Sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Or do, wait, we already have the ambient. Hit. It could also be good for when they're running around. Nice catch. Thanks. That's a good line from that scene. <laughs> yeah, that's like when they're running, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're galloping, in a sense. Could yeah. you could you put like sound, sounds on top of sounds? Mm -hmm. Can you layer sounds? Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. That looks great. <laughs> we gotta put in more sounds. I want a man of pain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now you've got it. I've had seven rats in my lifetime. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Really sad. Yeah, they're <laughs> fucking gross. I stopped loving them as soon as we got a dog, and then they both died. This is our best. This is by far our best. Oh my goodness. Even with the lack of We need a little noise. more. We need a few more swords. Yeah, just. That possibly. was so good. Yeah, that was. Wow. This is better than the original, and I don't say that about anything related <laughs> to the Pantrap ever. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Uh, we've learned a lot today about sound editing, but also about ourselves. Sound editing rips you apart and pulls you back together again, Ariella. It is tough, Tuna. Yeah, and uh, I think now what I really have is like more respect for some of the sound editing greats. Absolutely, and I know that I'll definitely be tuning in this Sunday for the Oscar presentation of the Sound Editing Award. But not staying up for sound mixing because sound mixing is garbage. Amen to that, sis.